Hello everybody, Mario Zeta here to you, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Super Mario 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS. This is easily one of my favorite 3DS games of all time, and I have a bit of history with this game because a Let's Play of this game from somebody else was what eventually inspired me to make my own videos. So, I have a lot of fond memories with this game. This is easily the 3D Mario game that I've played the most often, and I'm really excited to be able to demonstrate it for you guys. Now, this Let's Play is going to be pretty unique because this will be my first series where we streamed the entire Let's Play before the Let's Play began, before the first episode was released. So, this is going to be something that's going to be a pretty interesting experience because as I'm recording this video right now, I am doing this in front of a live stream. You'll be able to see it on the corner of the card on the corner of the screen right now when the Let's Play is released. Um, so, you'll be able to get to see some behind the scenes things. So this is going to be a very interesting experience, and uh, I'm really hoping you guys are looking forward to this because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I haven't really gotten into live streaming until just recently. And I thought that this would be the perfect game to try to experiment with the idea with because, uh, first of all, this is a very simplistic uh, Mario game, and I just really love this game. This is easily one of my favorite 3D Mario games of all time. Alright, so for people who are watching the stream, uh, just, know, just a little reminder, I'm not going to be looking at the chat nearly as often uh, during the stream as I normally do for my live streams and things like that, simply because of the fact that I'm going to have to focus on the gameplay. But I will be doing that in between videos, so, so that's going to be something that's going to be pretty interesting. So people in the live stream will be able to see things that people in the Let's Play would never be able to experience, and people watching the Let's Play will be able to watch better quality content because I'm using a different microphone for stuff and things like that. So yay, it's going to be super amazing and exciting and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> and also, what's really exciting is that the people in the live stream will be able to watch all my fails and I would not be able to do anything to prevent them from seeing that, so you'll be able to watch every single fail in this let's play. So I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so you may notice that most of the enemies in this level have tails. So that's kind of like the big gimmick with Super Mario 3D Land, is that uh, the Tanuki Leaf lost all of its trees and we just lost a... Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so, yeah, the Tanuki tree lost all of its leaves, and now we get to, and now we can turn into the Tanuki Mario. It's gonna be pretty exciting. And a flagpole's returning in this game as well. Rather than a power star or a shine sprite or anything like that, we have to look for the flagpoles. Um, you want to try to make sure you get to the top of them for every single level in the game, and I'll explain why much later in the project. And now moving on to the second level, I'm gonna be explaining how this last play is actually going to work. Um, Every video will be covering an entire world in the game, with a couple exceptions which we'll, be, which we'll get into a little bit later. And this will also be completely 100%. We will also be covering every single special world in the game. So all the post content, all the post game content will be covered in this let's play. Whenever we get in these coins, and let's get the star medal, oh yeah. Now if you guys want a good idea of when this uh, live stream is being recorded for people watching the let's play, uh, this stream is being recorded, like, uh, um, I think for Tomb Raider Anniversary, we're on episode 8, where we're in the middle of San Francisco Folly, and for Super Mario Galaxy, we're also, um, I think we just recently beat the Bedroom Dome, I think? Um, Recording-wise, I'm a little bit further into uh, those games, like, I'm towards the end of Greece in Tomb Raider Anniversary, and for Super Mario Galaxy, I'm in the um, Sea Slide Galaxy right now. So yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting. Alright, let's destroy these. And what I really like about this game is they basically took the idea of a 2D Mario game and expanded it into like a 3D environment. And that's something that I really enjoy. Although, if you've been watching Super Mario 3D World Versus over on the game channel, people watching the live stream, there'll be a card on the corner of the screen if you want to check that out. Um, there is something that's 
I did talk about how I wasn't really all that big of a fan of Mario 3D World because I thought it wasn't all that original, and I want to clarify my thoughts on that. I love Mario 3D Land because uh, something like this hadn't been done in the Mario game before. But 3D World, uh, it they didn't really do a whole lot of new things in that game outside of making it a home console and making it the first uh, 3D Mario game that had four-player multiplayer. And while I do still highly enjoy dying, <laughs> wow. Well, people, the live stream will not be able to see what I do in between failures. All right, so well, I guess now is probably a good time to demonstrate this. Except I didn't. Okay, there's usually like an infinite one-up trick you can do right there. And why am I failing so badly right now? I swear I'm not this bad at this game. All right. All right, fun fact for people watching the live stream, I was considering trying to do this for Portal, um, but uh, the quality of that was not that great. And now we have the final star medal. Now we're gonna be demonstrating a fun little trick you could do right here. If you backflip, actually wait, I wanna use Firefly real quick to, so that I can demonstrate this. Oh, <gasps> we can get some coins, yay, money! All right, so what we're gonna be doing real quick is a bit of a little secret you can do. If you backflip up here, you can walk around the top of the level, very much like the second level in the original Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't know why I said that like that, not just NES. I, I'm a little weird. <laughs> Alright, we get the one-up right there, which could be pretty interesting. Unlike Super Mario Galaxy, the one-ups will stay will stay with us um, when we turn the game off, so you don't have to worry about the lives resetting. This can also be a bit of a blessing and a curse, uh, which we'll be getting to a little bit later in the let's play. But we can go through there and move on into World 2. So we're gonna video off right here. I'm just kidding. We're gonna be going back into the second level and finishing off the normal way. All right, now that we're back at the end of the level, let's go back inside the green pipe. All right, let's wait for the thing to get bigger and jump. And okay, I'm so worried for a moment that we weren't gonna get the green flag. <laughs> Oh, if we just had one more coin, it would be 64, like Nintendo 64. Okay, now, we're going to be demonstrating the old world on screen for the Let's Play right now, because I want to demonstrate this right here. This right here is a mystery house. It's pretty interesting. You go in there, and you get, like, a little fun little challenge. Or, excuse me, it's a mystery box. Excuse me, it's so different. Yeah, we have cardboard cutouts of Goombas right there we can destroy in code blood. <laughs> now, there's a really fun Easter egg with this level that I want to demonstrate real quick. Well, first of all, let's go over here and look at the Toad. Because he will release a star medal for us. But, something else that's pretty interesting is if you look at the sky long enough, eventually it'll, something interesting will happen. Yeah, after you wait around for a little bit, a UFO will appear out of the air and will warp away from the world. It's a really fun little detail, and it really doesn't mean anything. It's just a really fun detail, and I really like it. Let's probably turn my 3DS audio down so that it's not too loud on the recording. Alright, so we go through here and go inside the mystery box. Boom, 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 so much coins! Yay! Coins for everybody! Alrighty then, now that we're back inside the main level, we totally did die off screen. We're gonna be going over here to continue our quest to conquer this level once and for all. You can destroy this uh, tree stump right here. Well, first I'm gonna destroy this guy so he doesn't burn us. I'm gonna go over here and uh, collect a Tanuki suit so that we can successfully conquer this level forever. Mwahaha! <laughs> and something really fun is that we go through here, we can go through a star. And you destroy everything inside! Brrrr! Oh, Shadow Mario! 
And now that we have the second star medal, we go over here and check out a red ring. It's the red ring of death from the Xbox 360. Mwahaha. It was all Nintendo's fault all along. <laughs> um, unlike the 2D Mario games, you only need to get five of them rather than uh, rather than eight from like the regular 2D Mario games and stuff like that. We get another star medal right there. And destroy this guy. I really like how this level looks in 3D. You can't see it in the video um, because of the of limitations of my recording setup. But I really like how this level looks in 3D. This entire game uses the 3D, uses the stereoscopic 3D very well. I really like it. If we double our coin count, we get 64, just like Nintendo 64. And now we're going to be playing one of the more fun levels in this world. And you're going to need uh, three star medals to unlock that. That's pretty much the whole point of these star medals in this game. Because uh, collecting the star medals will allow you to unlock levels later in the game. And this eventually becomes like an absolute requirement to be able to continue onward. So you want to go grab the star medals. <laughs> it's not like they're hard to get or anything like that. But you just want to remember to go grab them. And thankfully this, is, this isn't like Super Mario 3D World where... Um, you also have to go grab Beaver Stamps on top of that. Like, I swear, those Beaver Stamps were the death of me during that versus. <laughs> but, we go over here and collect our Nether Star Medal. And as I, when we go through here, I want to demonstrate something that's kind of funny with my capture card. Because, if I turn off the 3D, you see that the screen kind of... Da, 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 da. You can see that the screen kind of moves back and forth and things like that. It's something that's really fun. I always like doing that. Now... I'm not entirely sure how many other people do this, but I actually leave have my 3D turned on all the way whenever I'm recording these games, because I really like uh, how the 3D looks in these games. And it makes me really sad that more some of the more modern uh, 3DS games don't really take advantage of the stereoscopic 3D that much. Like, pretty much this game and I think Kid Icarus Uprising were some of the only games that actually used the 3D effect uh, as part of the actual gameplay. I read that... The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds was going to do that, but then the developers found out about the Nintendo 2DS and decided against it. Which is really depressing, that would have been awesome. Especially with how good the 3DS is in that game. So we go through here, and we can get a, another Leaf power-up. I guess you could say these power-ups are not leafing us alone! I'm not funny. <laughs> Alright, so we go over here, and... Oh, it's a water geyser! Oh, bye! We can fly! We're flying, we're flying, we're flying high in the sky! I am so sorry, people. <laughs> I always tell myself before recording these videos not to sing, and I always end up singing. I don't know, I'm just one of those weird people who like to sing badly on purpose. That's why I can never be on, like, American Idol or anything. Is American Idol still a thing? I don't care. <laughs> We can fly! Unnecessary epicness! This looks awesome in 3D! Alright then. We can go up here. And... Collect the top of the grid. Okay, I'm just gonna edit that part of the commentary out when I go to edit this video. If I if my tongue gets tied like that whenever I talk during a live during a video, I just usually just edit it out. Might be a little bit harder to do with this game though, because of the way that I'm recording the 3DS audio. Welcome to the town house! There's a present there for you. I wonder what's inside. <gasps> Is it gonna be a clonic bar? Alright, do you have anything to say? No, you don't. You know what? Th five last things for you. One, two, three. Four! I forgot how to count! What comes after four? I don't know! I'm just gonna keep whipping you until I remember! <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Uh, we don't need a fire flower. Sorry, Toad, I love you, man, but I don't need no sticking fire flower. I have a tale. We have a tale to tell. It's a tall tale. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> because we're gonna be moving on to the final level in Wood 1. We're gonna defeat Bowser and beat this last play in one video. This level is awesome! And these dragons are just so cute! They're just so adorable! They're so adorable! I love 
have the cute little baby dragons. <laughs> Sorry, I just really love dragons and uh, seeing a baby dragon is just so cute. Okay, after losing so many manly points right there, we're gonna be moving on to our merry way through our path of glory. And uh, moving on over here, as soon as the platform goes back down. Also, the music here is really amazing, but I probably won't be able to demonstrate it in the actual display. Simply just because of the fact that I'm recording my commentary and the uh, game audio at the same time. It's a little complicated, but basically I already have one microphone connected to my computer uh, to record my own voice whenever I'm doing the live stream. And because of uh, reasons. And I have like a separate microphone uh, recording uh, my regular commentary for the Let's Play. And that, and that microphone is also recording the 3DS audio. It's really complicated, but hopefully that makes, makes sense. A little bit, maybe, hopefully, kind of. Alright, so we can go over here and look through the spyglass. It's a little hard to use both controls with my current setup because I have like a big mess of wires connected to my 3DS right now. Simply just because of the way that I'm recording this video. Let me go over here, destroy the dry bones. And now moving on to this regular boss fight, and I don't know what you're talking about. I never had my Tanuki power-up going into this level. I was always just regular Mario. <laughs> Alright, so something that's really neat is if you have your Tanuki suit, you can just fly around Bowser, but because I totally didn't have it when I was starting this recording, we had to do it the normal way. Nee. Jump on the button, and Bowser is dead. It was a Goomba all along. It doesn't make me a terrible person for feeling more sorry about the Super Leaf than the Goomba. And now we saved Toad! Hey, I'm gonna jump on your head. Unfortunately, our princess is in another castle. Let's see, activate the Super Leaf. And jump on top of the flagpole. Ward 1's complete. Let's go. And now we'll be facing Bowser, all right. And I really love this battle because it makes such great use of the stereoscopic 3D. And it's just, it's just really fun. I really like this level. And we can also completely break this by using the Tsunuki Leaf to fly around him. Okay, that was completely my bad because I was looking at my laptop screen when I did that. And not my 3D screen, so the depth perception threw me off. 